Yes, friends, Professor Kumar, and you are at Galaxy Tutorials, CBSE 10th Maths, and we are in the chapter Trigonometry. Today is lecture number 7, and exercise 8.1, or the first exercise of the 8th chapter of your textbook. Last time we had covered 3 sums. Today we are moving forward from sum number 4. Okay, so on the board, sum number 4. Given 15 cot A is 8, find sin A and sec A. So we are given cot A and we are supposed to find sin A and sec A. Step number one, as usual, just to remind you, we draw a right hand. Triangle. At right angle at B, A and C. Again opposite side, adjacent side and hypotenuse of angle A. We are interested in A because sin A and sec A has to be found. Cot A, 15 cot A is A. Therefore, cot A is 8 upon 15. By bringing it on the other side, you can see that cot A is now got a value 8 upon 15. This is how you begin the step. Now, cot we know is, as we have seen in so katoa, and cot is opposite of tan, inverse of tan. We have, this is equal, in our diagram, AB upon BC, adjacent upon opposite, inverse of tan. Okay, if I remembering, adjacent side, please remember the basic ratios upon opposite side of inverse of tan of A. Please look at A only. Okay, this is for your understanding. Exactly, you did not write that. You could directly write AB divided by BC. Okay, as I told you yesterday, we will have, these are some common multiple of X. So, AB is 8X. And BC is 15x. These are some multiples. And the ratio is 8 and 15. Then we will put here this is 8x and this is 15x. Okay. Now we will find the third side. In right angle triangle ABC. Okay. AC square is AB square plus BC square by Pythagoras theorem. I keep reminding you. Okay. AC square, we have to find AC, is AB square plus BC square. Right. I have just substituted the values. Nothing much. Now, I will square and uh, total and you are supposed to be uh, solving further, 8 into 64 uh, to 25, please keep working. Now, AC square is equal to 289x square. Okay, so please square it, add it, you should get 289x square plus x square is there x square. AC is square root of 289x square. That will give me I told you that you have to start memorizing. Please learn the table of squares and square root. Learn 10 squares every day. Learn 5 square roots every day. So this will give me 17x. So now AC is 17x. I have found out. Now the line becomes simple. Sine A is opposite side of A upon hypotenuse okay opposite side of a 15x hypotenuse 17x x x cancel 15 by 17 is my first answer okay i'll be writing answers you have to write answers once again at the end set a set you very well know is 1 upon cos and cos is adjacent side upon hypotenuse. So this is inverse hypotenuse upon adjacent side. 
of A. Our proteins remain the same for every atom. Now, hypotenuse is 17x. Adjacent side of A is 8x. So, you see, I get 17 upon 8. This is how you will derive the ratio. Please write the answer. I keep reminding you. Answer sign A is 15 upon 17. Set A is 17 upon 8. This is how you will present the sum in the exam. We will look at it once again. Given 15 cot A is equal to 8. Find sign A and sec A. 15 cot A is 8. Bring 15 on the other side. Cot A is 8 upon 15. But cot is defined as adjacent side of A upon opposite side of A. So that is AB upon BC. Since there are some multiples of X. It will be 8 times X uh, and 15 times X. In a right, draw the, as we have drawn the triangle, in a right angle triangle ABC, AC square is AB square plus BC square by Pythagoras theorem. Put in the values, square it, add it, take out the square root, AC is 17X. We put 17X here ready. Now we have to find the answers. Sin A is opposite side of A upon hypotenuse, 15 upon 17, X cancel. Sec A is defined as hypotenuse upon adjacent side of A, 17 upon 8, X, X cancels. Answer, you write, square box it, and your two marks are ready. So please learn to present it in this form. You see, in this I wrote X. The earlier sum I wrote K. Use any alphabet you like. This is X, this can be K, this can be M, does not matter. But you have to write that it is some multiple of whichever alphabet you are using. Why don't we use X? Because X comes as a variable sometimes. In trigonometry also, we will see a sum like X plus A cos theta. So that's why we write K. Because K never comes in trigonometry. So that is why alphabets are not permanent. You can use any alphabet you like. Okay, so this was sum number 4. We will move to next sum, sum number 5. Please go through it, practice it, and then we are moving to the next sum. Okay, fifth sum in your textbook is given sec theta is equal to 13 upon 12. Calculate all other trigonometric ratios. So we are given one ratio and we have to find the other ratios. Same type sum, same method using only basic formulas. Okay. Step number one. Okay. We have sec theta is 13 by 12. I will draw my right angle triangle for my understanding A, B, C. Now, you very well know sec theta. How do you define? 1 upon cos. So, it will be hypotenuse upon adjacent side of A. We are interested in A. A is theta degrees. Hypotenuse is AC. Adjacent side is AB. So, we let there be some common multiples of suppose K. Therefore, AC is 13K and AB is 12K. I again I remind you, you can use X, you can use M, any alphabet you like. Okay, but since your textbook always writes K, I also put K for you. To make it look familiar. Any alphabet will do in the exam. Okay, now in so I have AC is 13k, I have AB as 12k. I don't know this. In right angle triangle ABC, okay, AC square is AB square plus BC square by Pythagoras theorem. Okay, 
ए सी स्क्वायर वी नो थर्टीन के स्क्वायर इज ए बी स्क्वायर वी नो ट्वेल्व के स्क्वायर प्लस बी सी स्क्वायर देखो बी सी स्क्वायर इज थर्टीन के स्क्वायर माइनस ट्वेल्व के स्क्वायर यू कैन do it by squaring 13 13s are 169 uh, 12s are 144 or a square minus b square is a minus b times a plus b you are free to do by any method you like okay so there is no restriction on that but and then you will remove the square root of the following and we will get that bc is here coming a 25 k square When I remove square root, you know square root of twenty-five is five. I will get five k, so I will write here five k, which I have found out. So I have three sides of a triangle, and now so cut to her. You can write three ratios. You can make them inverse and write the sixth ratio. You already have sec uh, sec theta. You have to find five ratios. Do not find out again sec theta. It is already given to you. Okay, so we will start here. Sin theta is opposite side upon hypotenuse. Keep saying in your mind, BC is five k, AC is thirteen k. That is five upon thirteen. Cos theta is adjacent side upon hypotenuse. Okay, that is twelve k by thirteen k. K K cancel. 12 by 30. Tan theta is equal to opposite side. Okay, upon adjacent side. That is 5k upon 12k. K K cancel 5 upon 12. Then the remaining ratio will start. Sine 1 upon sine cos theta is do not waste time. You have to just invert it. You can see from top. You can directly write the answer also. There is no problem. Okay. Do not write sec theta. Already there. All other ratios, not all ratios, other. Therefore, cos theta is that, and we will do cot theta. Cot theta is inverse of tan theta. A B upon B C. That is 12 K upon 5 K. That is 12. Five. One, two, three, four, five ratio. Please write the five ratios in the answer. Once again, make a square box and and please see that answer is written separately because there are separate uh, marks for this. All the sums are solved in the study pack being given to you. Uh, I keep reminding you, uh, study pack for you special. This is all the chapter one of all the six subjects. You are free to start studying question answers, summary, concept maps, assignment, practice exercise A, practice exercise B, past year questions, and textbook solutions. All are provided. Please register yourself. Take the assignment book. Start practicing similar sum because in the coming lectures I will be telling you which assignment sums are similar to which sums of your text. So that you can practice. Sums from textbook do come. Sums come from past paper question. Sums come from uh, assignment and practice exercise A and B, which are similar because same numbers don't keep coming again and again. So we will need to practice. Wordings change, grammars change. So please go for the study pack. Also, I must remind you that you must subscribe to the YouTube channel because every day. As far as capable, I am putting in one lecture, two lecture, as much I can record and put effort. So you will not know. You will be waiting. Does it come in the morning? Will it be sent in the afternoon? Please subscribe and press the bell icon, whatever. That is not for my advertisement or something. I do not need that advertisement. But you will be notified that I have uploaded a lecture for you, and you will be able to access that lecture immediately. So it will benefit you. Okay, so that since now we have made a YouTube channel, you will get it uh, information from the YouTube itself, and you don't have to download um, space problems, internet problems, just stream. You 
you can stop wherever you like. Please see it more than one time if you do not follow. Please have a notebook and pen ready and note the steps. And still if you have difficulty, please communicate. Again, please come, register and collect your assignment book. Your assignment book, Galaxies. Okay, this is a We have, as of now, three study packs uh, have been distributed. This is first study pack in my hand. So, as per the portion from the various schools which I have asked my students, I have prepared three study packs already. So, you would have nothing less than four to five, five chapters of each subject ready for you. So, you can start working on them. And in case you need some other chapter, please inform. So, the next study pack will contain your chapter first. This is trying to satisfy your school problem. Otherwise, you would have gone sequentially one by one. Okay, so it solves your problem. So this is our sum number five, done in the same method as sum number four and three. No new technique has been required. Okay, so we will see six sum. Exercise 8.1 and sum number six. If angle A and angle B are acute angles such that cos A is equal to cos B show that angle A is equal to angle B okay sounds like a proof nothing great looks like to prove that nothing just two steps and two steps are here so what does the C so first we have acute angle A and B they are not given right angle okay they are given acute angle so my triangle will be there A acute angle B acute angle and C okay so roughly diagram will be like this and then I will have to make it right angle so by construction I draw a right angle. Otherwise, my trigonometry will not run. Okay. So first, in figure, angle A and angle B are acute angles. That is my first step. Number two, draw C. Make some alphabet D. CD perpendicular to AB. Otherwise, we will not have a right angle perpendicular 90 degrees. So now I have two right angle triangles in my diagram. Now, we are given <coughs> cos A is equal to cos B. Given. You can see here. Such that. It is given. And we have to find out cos A. Cos of A, again we go through, is adjacent side upon hypotenuse. Look at one triangle at one time. Don't look at both. Separate the triangles in your mind or draw it separately if you cannot imagine. Okay, cos of A. As you very well know, cos A is, in our diagram, AD adjacent side upon hypotenuse AC. Cos is adjacent side upon hypotenuse. Now go for the other triangle. My other triangle is here. BDC. Remember, trigonometry works only in right angle triangles. So now I have cos of B. In cos of B, I have adjacent side upon hypotenuse. I hope you can see and you are satisfied. Okay? Therefore. Right? Okay. Now, this is done. That's simple. Then, we had learned a chapter of similarity in the lower class. What did that tell you? That if three, uh, two sides are in proportion and any one side is equal. Remember, CD is equal to CD. It's a common side. Common. Okay. 
therefore triangle ABC and triangle uh, BDC. What should I say they are? Okay, not congruent, similar. Why? SSS. Okay, similarity. Criteria. Craft single one. Criterion. Side, side, side. Sides proportions are equal. Third side is same. So we get they are similar. Of course. And now similar triangles have congruent angles. Therefore, angle A is equal to angle B. What do we write reason? All corresponding, all corresponding angles of two similar triangles are congruent, not similar. They are exact values. It can't be 60 and like 60. So they are congruent. So this is how I get. Okay. Now because you may not like the word congruent, you may even write equal. It means the same thing. There is no difference between the two. Okay. So you are free to use any word. Suppose you get stuck. No need to worry. Let's see once again. Look like a big sum. Not worth even two marks. Angle A and B are acute, less than 90, you can see, we have drawn the diagram. And we will draw a perpendicular CD, so that I have a right angle triangle on both sides. Then they have told me cos A is equal to cos B. Cos is adjacent upon hypotenuse, cos is adjacent upon hypotenuse. See the triangle separately, because angles are different. So I will get this ratio, and I also know that CD is common, so CD is same, equal to it itself, reflexivity. Therefore, triangles are similar. Therefore, angles are equal. Okay? Hence, proof. This is how you will do the sum. So, this was sum number 6. Extremely simple. Okay? We will move to sum number 7. No need to draw separate triangles if you can imagine. In the exam, if you left it like this, no problem. But you would have to draw a diagram to convince the examiner that your steps are correct. If the diagram is there, nobody reads. If some mistake has occurred, B, D, C, B, C, D, you will go through luckily. Do not, please draw diagram, do not neglect the diagram. But don't draw 10 diagrams. You may draw the half triangle. There is no marks cut if you draw, but then it must be proper. So you can't leave it. Then you should have the labeling A, B, C, and C, D, B. Then you have to be properly labeled. Also use a ruler and a pencil, not freehand like this because I can't use a ruler on my board. Please use a ruler to draw. Do not draw freehand. Not appreciated in mathematics. This is not a graph. Okay, so this is how the sum has to be done. We will move to sum number 7. Yeah. Many people come back, my students come back and tell me, no, in my school they did it like this, my teacher told like this, I have to make some points. Number one, we do not fight with the school teacher because we need internal marks, there are practical marks. Never fight with the school teacher. Number two, who's right and wrong? We are not in a war in which we have to prove who's right or wrong. I don't have to prove your teacher does not know every, nothing and I know everything. There is no war between. We have a common goal that you should get maximum marks in the exam. What I am teaching you is not wrong. What teacher taught you may or may not be correct. I have not checked. But nothing, it does not correspond, does not tally, does not mean this. This is perfect. This is what comes in the marking scheme or correction of the board. Why the teacher teaching differently? Like how you are labeling. Whoever is familiar with the technique uses that technique. Okay, so does not. You may use the teacher, you may use this. If the teacher cuts half mark, one mark, don't feel offended. Nothing. In the board, we will get full mark. Toppers always come from Galaxy tutorials. You need not worry. Okay? We will guarantee the performance if you work hard. Okay? Nothing wrong. So, going back to sum number 7. If 
cot theta is 7 by 8. Evaluate. First, 1 plus sine theta, 1 minus sine theta, divided by 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta. Number 2, cot square theta. Two things I am supposed to find out. Method C. First, they have given another value. Cot theta is 7 by 8. Step number 1. Right angle triangle. A, B, C. Cot, again to remind you, is inverse of tan. Tan of opposite side of A upon adjacent side of A. So, cot will become inverse. Adjacent side of A. Because A is theta for us. So, adjacent side of A upon opposite side of A. Adjacent side is AB. Opposite side is BC. Okay. Now, we will get AB is 7K. BC is 8K. Let them be some common vertical x. Third side. So, AB I am writing 7K. BC I am writing 8K. Now, in right angle triangle ABC, AC square is AB square plus BC square by Pythagoras theorem. Okay, AC square is equal to 7K square plus 8K square by substituting the values. I hope 7K and 8k I have transferred here and I will get when I solve this 113k square so 7 7 is a 49 8 is a 64 please keep up AC is according to us now square root 113 and a k okay now 113 as you will see when you perform because if you have learned the square tables and square root tables, you will see there is no answer to this. It's an irrational number. But if not, do your long method and check. It, square root cannot be removed. So we keep it under root, same to same. We don't do anything further. So this is root 113k. Student feels scared. How can it be root 113? Something is wrong. Don't worry. Keep practicing. Keep your mind straight. Do not look at value. If you have worked correctly, answer will be correct. Never look at the answer and change the answer. So we have got AC. Now you can see that I need sine theta and cos theta. Sine, sine, cos, cos, and 1, 1, 1, 1, I already know. So sine theta, I will find out first, is as you can see opposite side upon hypotenuse. Opposite side is 8k. Hypotenuse is root 1, 1, 3k. K, K, cancel. 8 divided by root 1, 1, 3 answer. And I will find out cos theta. I mean cos theta set. Cos theta is adjacent side upon hypotenuse. Adjacent side 7k, hypotenuse root 1, 1, 3k, k and k cancel. 7 upon root 1, 1, 3. So two values are required. Both I have found out. Now, there are two methods to do the sum. One simple and one using formula. We will see the simple method first. We have to find first 1 plus sine theta, 1 minus sine theta upon 1 plus cos theta and 1 minus cos theta. Substituting the values, 1 plus sine theta is 8 upon root 113, okay, and 1 minus 8 upon root 113. First term numerator is ready. Look at the denominator 1 plus 7 upon root 113, 1 minus 7 upon root 113. Substituting the values into what is asked to be equation on the left hand side. Now, when you solve this, okay, now how to solve this? 
LCA method I taught you yesterday, like that. Okay, root 113 plus 8 upon 113. Okay, root same way and root multiplied by root, the root will go actually both will cancel each other. So please solve this as explained to you yesterday. If you still can't solve it, please get back. Then we'll do 8th standard thirds first. Okay, so this is where we expect you that you should have learned your 8th and 9th. Okay. Otherwise, it does not fit on my board. So, I have to be a little careful. So, this is equal to, when we see, the denominators will get cancelled. Root 113 plus 8 and root 113 minus 8. This will remain on the top. And at the bottom, denominator, root 113 plus 7 and root 113 minus 7. Okay. Now, how do we go further? So we have come back to it. A plus B, A minus B, A. N plus N, N minus N. So, A square, root 1, 1, 3 square, minus B square. Again, M square, and N square. You can see, A plus B, A minus B. N plus N, N minus N. Okay? Now, this root will get rid of because of square and square root cancel and this will become 49 and when we see solve further we will see that we will have a value 49 by 64 that is how to find but please write the answer please write the answer okay 1 plus sine theta into 1 minus sine theta Divided by 1 plus cos theta multiplied by 1 minus cos theta is equal. Do not be lazy. Write answer square box in. Now the second one is simple. Actually I should leave it to do on your own. We must first find cot theta. Cot theta is inverse of tan theta. So you know it is uh, tan is opposite side upon adjacent side. Cot is adjacent side upon opposite side. So adjacent side is, as you can see there, 7k, opposite side is 8k. Cancel 7 upon 8. I don't need cot theta. I need cot square theta. Therefore, cot square theta is 7 upon 8, the whole square, 49 by 16. This is how, and please write the answer. I keep reminding you, you will forget the answer, saying it is already there, nothing like that. Kindly write, square box it, and leave it there. This is how we will complete the sum number 7.